Question 6 says a ball is thrown vertically upwards with a speed 10 meter per second from top of a tower. It hits the ground after some time with a speed of 50 meters per second. The height of the tower is. So four options are given. 240 meters, 120 meters, 60 meters and 80 meters. Now dear students let us solve this question. To solve this question we will use the equation of motion that is v square is equal to u square plus 2 g h. Now if we consider that this is the tower of height h, initially the ball is thrown upwards with a speed of 10 meter per second. The final displacement of the ball will be downward that is h and the acceleration due to gravity will also be downwards that is g. It is given that the ball strikes the ground with a speed of 50 meters per second. Considering the downward direction as positive and upward direction as negative, we can substitute the values in the given equation. The final speed or the velocity is given as 50 square. The initial velocity can be written as minus 10 because it is upward in the negative direction. Plus 2 into g that is 10 and multiplied by h. So h will be equal to 50 square minus 10 square by 2 into 10. On solving this, we get a value of 120 meters. And hence, for this question, the correct answer is option number 2. Now, let us proceed to the next question, that is question number 7. In question 7, the color code of a carbon resistor is given below. So, a diagram of the carbon resistor is given, and there are four bands, that is yellow, red, red, and gold. You have to write down the value of the resistance with the tolerance, as it is given in the question. Now dear students, to solve this question, we must remember the values of each color code of the resistor. We must remember that the yellow corresponds to the number 4, red corresponds to the number 2 and gold corresponds to the number 5 percent. That is, this is the tolerance. And hence, as the first color is yellow, we write 4. As the second color is red, we write 2. And we multiply it by 10 to the power 2 as the multiplier band is also 2. Plus minus 5% because the tolerance band is gold. And the units of course for the resistance is ohms. We can clearly see that for this question, the correct answer is option number 1. As we can write down that 42 into 10 to the power 2 is also equal to 4.2 into 10 to the power 3 plus minus 5 percent or 4.2 kilo ohms plus minus 5 percent. Therefore, for this question, the correct answer is option number 1. Now, let us move to the question number 8. In question number 8, a radioactive element 235x92 is bombarded with a neutron. It generates 89y36, 3 neutrons and another nucleus that is az56 we have to find out the value of a the students to solve this question we must write down the correct and the balanced nuclear reaction now the student the initial nucleus is x 235.92 and it is being bombarded with a neutron so 1 and 0 now the students in this case the products are given to be equal to y 89 36 plus another nucleus Z A56 and 3 neutrons. Now we can use the concept of the conservation of the nucleons and we can write down that in the left hand side 235 plus 1 will be equal to A plus 89 plus 3 and on solving this we get a value of A to be equal to 144. Clearly for this question, the correct answer turns out to be option number 3. Now let us move to the question number 9. Question 9 says a spherical conductor of radius 10 cm has a charge of 3.2 microcoulomb distributed uniformly. The magnitude of electric field at a point 5 cm from the center of sphere is. So four options are given to us. 1.28 into 10 raised to power 5, 2.88 into 10 raised to power 6, 1.15 into 10 to the power 7 and 0. Dear students, 
the key takeaway from here is that it is a spherical conductor and in case of a conductor which is sphere the e outside is given as k into capital q by x square where k is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught however inside the conductor the electric field is zero in electrostatic condition and in this question the electric field is being asked at a 0.5 centimeter away from the center wherein the radius is 10 centimeter and hence for a given sphere if this is the radius that is the 10 centimeter 5 centimeter will lie somewhere inside the sphere therefore it is a point inside the sphere and hence the electric field is zero which means that for this question the correct answer is option number four now let us move to the next question that is question number 10 Question 10 says a ray is incident at an angle of incidence i on one surface of a small angle prism where prism angle is a and emerges normally from the opposite surface. The refractive index of the material of the prism is mu equal to 2. The angle of incidence is nearly. Dear students, the ray diagram is drawn here. The angle of incidence is i whereas the first refraction angle is r1. As we can see from the diagram that r2 that is on the second surface the angle made by the ray with the normal is equal to 0. From the concepts of the prism, we can write down that R1 plus R2 should be equal to A, whereas A is the angle of prism. So, in one way, we can write down that R1 will be equal to A. Dear students, at this point, the Snell's law will give us that 1 into sin i will be equal to mu into sin R1. That is, i will be equal to mu r1 as this is a small angle prism and all the angles are assumed to be very very small as you can see from this equation as well so this will be equal to 2 into r1 as mu is given to be equal to 2 from this equation we can further write down that r1 will be equal to i by 2 and if we substitute this value in this equation that is equation number one we can write down that i by 2 will be equal to a or i will be equal to 2a and hence for this question the correct answer turns out to be option number 1 now dear students let us proceed to the question number 11 